Okay, this is Brooke, and I'm back with the PrinterBot build. This is number four. And we were uh, cut short last time, um, but I'm going to try to pick up from about where I left off. So what I've got here is the PrinterBot. We've got the base put together, the Z rods put in, and I've uh, put the Y rods into place. So now we're going to place our motors. Now these motors are going to hang by two screws each. I like to get those in first. And if these holes seem a little bit tight, that's one thing about these plastic printed parts. They're not perfect, um, but they're very functional. So just drill those out and uh, give yourself a little room to work here. So I'm just going to quickly attach these. And by the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the, uh, the cables pointing towards the inside because I like my cables to be real nice and neat on the inside here. So I'll just zip these on. And, you know, you can get them pretty tight if you want. They should be in the right place. But I'm not going to go overboard. Uh, you'll notice the two Z motors are a little bit smaller. They don't need as much torque since there's two of them. And the other two motors, the X and Y, actually run on a belt, or run a belt. And it's kind of a direct drive situation where the Z motors are going to use threaded rod and that's kind of a you know it's going to use similar threaded rod and so it's more of a you know screw type situation lead screw and it's not as hard to to move something with the lead screw as it is a direct drive belt so anyway this center motor is bigger and you'll see the extruder motor a little later and the X motor and those will also be uh, this size beefy okay now we're going to do our um, Y belt guide. There's a belt that's going to go here, and this is just simply a guide. Now, I have al already pressed these on to the shaft, and they're pretty tight, but we want them to be the right height. And while they would stay here, I just worry about those wandering around. So we're going to put two. We're going to put one on, then another one. Same thing here. And you can see there, I'm trying to focus my camera a little bit. There we go. So uh, now these go on with two of these M3, which means three millimeter. And I believe these are 16 millimeter. <clears throat> and we're using the, the motor as the mount here. I've never seen this done before, but it's kind of a way to economize parts very structurally sound and instead of making some plastic parts that float out in the middle uh, we're just going to use what we have here again this is a very minimalist design I can't find that so I really only put only what you need on here now since uh, the last video um, I've added a couple things, a, a couple parts here, and I actually wanted to demonstrate these pulleys. Now, I've already put um, one of these in. A uh, little, little screw goes inside this trapped nut thing right here, and then uh, one of these 8 millimeter screws will go in there, and the idea is it will hold the shaft in place. Now, optionally, some people like to flat uh, their motors and that simply means <clears throat> I'm just demonstrating how to put this in now if that goes in really tight you might want to get a pair of pliers or something and you want to be fairly gentle but you might have to press down uh, on that with your um, focusing one more time you might want to press down on that because it's really tight and, and it doesn't want to go down press down you know squeeze it down you don't want to be hammering on stuff but um, you know, be careful. I've I've been doing this and holding it, and you know, you hurt yourself if you got a screwdriver or something. So, I actually picked one that was going to go in nice and easy here. They're not all that beautiful. And then this threads in here. Now I've got two two examples here. One is uh, going to be for the Y, and one is going to be for the X. So we're going to put that aside. But since they're identical, I thought I'd show you how to you know put that together. And one of the cool things about the printer bot is a lot of the parts are symmetrical. These parts are symmetrical, so they're actually one unique design, and we double it. 
and you can see here same thing with the belt clips one and then it's doubled this one we do four times and this is the Z coupler that I use it's two parts and it goes together like that I'll show you here in a second but again it's four of the same parts so you end up with a pretty simple design so the the Y belt actually we mount these upside down and uh, the belt you can kind of see here it rides really close to the metal on the motor so we want to make sure that uh, that's going to be tight I might have to drill that so yeah I'm, I'm gonna have to drill that out I have an eight millimeter I mean I'm what is it I don't remember the exact size but we've got a, a drill bit that matches that perfectly that I'll, I'll rough those out here in a second. But let's keep moving. So we've got bar ends. I'm going to just pop these on. And this goes like this on the inside. The upper, uh, kind of, it's like a B here. Um, it's going to go on the inside. So all these go on the inside, which means that the surface will show, <clears throat> the surface will be a little different because they all print the same way, um, but some face different ways. So there's one in the back and then, I mean on the front, and then I'll put one on the back. <clears throat> you can take the bars off to do this. And to be fair, I pre-fitted these. I, I wanted to make sure they fit <laughs> so I wasn't struggling. Sometimes I drill parts out so they're a little easier to assemble. And now before I put this um, printed bed on, I want to show you a couple things. I mean the, the print bed. So um, before when I showed this, I didn't have the hole in it. But I want to demonstrate how it's going to go. So it's going to go on here like this. And uh, this is just kind of a dummy piece. Uh, the ones you'll get are a little thicker. Um, this one's kind of an example for me today. But it's going to go like that, and we're going to put the screws down in there. And then this is just an example. Um, this isn't the actual uh, heated bed, but it's the same dimensions. And uh, I just hand drilled these, so they're kind of dodgy. But um, I wanted to show you how this goes together. The reason there's a hole there is we actually have solder points on the bottom, and there'll be a cable that feeds down through that hole. And so we'll put it on like that. 